So today I'd like to show a rip cut with my 700mm uh, frame saw. This is the ECE frame saw which I got from Dictum and it has the, the Japanese universal turbo cut blade. I've used this for about half a year now and it works I think pretty well in both cross cut and rip. The directions helpfully marked on the blade because the teeth are quite fine even though they're very deep. I always forget so I remember I have to push towards the wing nut. I actually added this uh, wooden wing nut to the end because I found the built-in metal wing nut a little bit too small and a little bit uncomfortable to turn for tensioning the blade. Um, I also like that you can simply angle the blade to get good clearance. So this is what allows me to get some clearance in here for making long rips or resaw cuts. What I'm doing at the moment is a four foot long rip, 1.2 meters, in this piece of European oak. Uh, I got this from a big box store and I'm just ripping uh, thinner strips for using for mounting some blinds. I've got this held in my end vise and I think with this frame saw it's really imperative that you have excellent work holding. It might bind so I might need to clown around a little bit with some wedges here to keep it open. We'll see how it goes. One thing it took me a while to figure out is how to hold the frame saw for this cut without uh, making a death grip on it. And so what I'm actually using is this kind of split grip around the blade with the left hand, the palms on the handle, and I extend the finger down the cross brace for controlling the angle of the saw blade without having to try and do it all from this short grip. I move my little plants behind me a bit further back, so most of the cutting action should be coming from a rocking forward and back with the body. It's a bit similar to cutting with a robot frame saw. Right, let's see how we go.
find this um, so much faster and easier than any of the other resawing or rip cutting methods I've used. We can have a quick look and see if we can see the quality of the cut. So the cut surface is a little bit rough. We see here probably the biggest change in direction I had, maybe even where the cuts met. And you can see I wander a little bit off the line here, but not much more than about half a kerf. So uh, there we go. That's the 700 millimeter turbo cut frame saw.